Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Super Mario Sunshine on Nintendo Switch. Thanks to the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game, I hope you guys are enjoying the 100% walkthrough. Today is part two, or the second half of Gelato Beach. And what we're going to be doing over here is going through the episode 7, 8, secret, secret, 100 coin. So that's five shine sprites, and they're going to be very tough. They're going to be very tough. So, that being said, thanks for being here. Let's go, Shadow Mario! You're mine! So let's get Shadow Mario, and uh, we should be all set. Wow, he goes quick! Why is he going so quick? Yo, and he decked me right there. What is his problem? Yo, I could do that too. You know I can. But I'll do it spin. Please don't go up there. Can you please stop? I'm just gonna sprint past him. Kind sir! There we go. You tripped on your triple jump. Womp womp. Okay, so that one took way too long. <laughs> just gonna say. That took a little bit too long because I got him all the way up the mountain. I'm pretty sure that you can destroy him in like two seconds, but that's okay. It's Shadow Mario, whatever. Let's go. So Shadow Mario... Hey, buddy. What's up, dude? So I'm excited because once we're done with this episode, we can go to Pinna Park and then we can go unlock Yoshi within the first episode of it. So very, very excited for it. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, Gelato Beach. The Watermelon Festival. Now remember, I teased a little bit earlier that this is the hardest Shine Sprite in the game. It is. Without a doubt. The hardest, one of the, one of the hardest ones in the game. Because you have to go get a watermelon, man. You gotta get a big one. It's not, not just any watermelon, you need a big one. And I think it's all the way on top too. Like, I kind of want these cataquacks to launch me. But these guys hurt me. They're very hurtful. Okay, yeah, these guys are very hurtful. So, let's just do this. Yep. Turn around, guy. Big run. Look at that sprint. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. This is not where I want to go. That's my watermelon right there. You see him? That's the one. So now there is a way to somehow get the watermelon from right over here and just launch it into where it needs to go. There is absolutely a way of doing that. But, I do not know how. And the physics in this game are super ultra wonky. So now, we're gonna bring our watermelon. I mean, you gotta wash it, right? You gotta wash the watermelon. Oh my gosh, help. Okay, so now that's a little gap right there. And then now my watermelon is gonna get destroyed. Don't do it. Okay, it's alive, it's alive. My watermelon is, is alive, legit. Do not, no! That guy destroyed it! That Cataquack rocked it, man. All right, all right, so now I gotta play again. It's cool, that works. Alright, that's fine. I think I could push it through there. Beautiful. Alright, just kind of clear in the way first, and then we're going.
I don't want to mess with this one. Dude, that thing got launched down there. What and why? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Big. This is the home stretch. Don't even think about it. Sorry, lady. Okay, now we're on the home stretch here. Now I have to play Surgeon. Ever so slightly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm like super, super tense about this. I'm not even gonna come near it. I'm just gonna like wash it. Yes! Oh, now that's a big old watermelon like I've never seen. I don't even need to get up the caliper for this one. You win. Boom! They threw it in there. Grinded it down. And then received the shine sprite. Wow. Now... Oh my gosh, that's so hard. And then Mario is literally standing on top of these spinning blades. I don't understand. Someone explain that to me. Anyway, so what the cool thing about that part is, um, in the speedrun community, you can take like a coconut or something like that and bring it with you to the top of the hut, and then like drop it, and then like clip through underneath the spinning blades in order to get that shine without having to worry about any of the watermelons. So that's really funny that they figured that out. But nonetheless, for all of us casual Super Mario Sunshine players, that is exactly how we do it. Grab that big watermelon on top and then go from there. So yeah, that's a, a very interesting one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh, Dune Bud Sandcastle Secret and we're gonna go get the red coins in that area simply because it's, um, it's what we gotta do with it, the secret shines, right? Like, I think we know that by now. If there's ever a Mario level, then that's exactly what we have to do. A Mario level meaning like an anti-flood level, so. All right, let's jump on in. All right, don't touch me, Cataquacker. Yoink. See ya. All right, here we go. Secret shine time. Now, we've got Flood at our disposal. That means that we can have an easier time running around and collecting these things. So, let's find out where the little switch is. Of course, or you just do that. Like, I'm not even paying attention. Or you just do that. That's cool. Maybe Flood just gives me a little bit more confidence and I became a little overconfident with that one. Eh, whatever. All right, here we go. One. All right, here we go. Holy moly! What was that? Salvage. That's what that was. Whew. All right, so there's one in the middle. It seems like they may be on each of the corners. Or something. Well, I got 20 seconds to find the last two. Oh, on the extremes. 10 seconds? Yeah, I can make that. Done. Wow. 
<laughs> that salvage was insane. Salvage King. All right, let's go. Hovering down. Done. That was a little interesting, especially the part where I fell off at the beginning. I mean, what are you talking about? I totally didn't fall off. I don't know what you're saying. Anyway. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, so the next one is going to be a little different since there's not two areas inside this world that have the little, um, I don't know, anti-flood levels. So this secret shine is going to be hidden within the game. And I'm not really sure if you can unlock it in episode 8. I'm just going to come over here and see what's up. I'm going to see what's up. And that little area right there inside the map with that like ooze looking, that little neon orange ooze, that's for Yoshi. As soon as you get Yoshi. Alright, can you not? Thanks. Okay, this is actually problematic now. I'm in this loop where he's just gonna keep on lifting me up and I'm dead. Okay, that's fine. It's fair. Take my hits where I can get them, right? That's what he says. You got a buddy? Was this the culprit? Come here. There you have it. That's the secret shine sprite. Just kind of hidden underneath the ground. Watch out for the cataquacks. Get those things out of there. Don't have to worry about those clowns. So I want to say you can do this in any of the episodes, but I did it in episode 8. Feel free to do it in episode 8 if you want to as well. And look at this big sprint too. What's up, watermelon? Yo, I'm going to put this watermelon right over here. Where's my shine sprite? <laughs> Watermelon man! Yeah! Okay, so now we are gonna have to go out and find a hundred coins. And like, again, unless you look this up, you're gonna be wasting a lot of your time because not every single one of these episodes houses a hundred coins. It's a rough one, man. It's honestly a rough one. So yeah, let's jump in. Let's see what we got. The 100 coin shine. Which one are we going to go into? Let's see. Let's do episode eight. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Uh, you guys thought that the watermelon star was the hardest? No, think again. You have not met the 100 coin star in this level. You haven't met it yet. You guys are not acquainted. And for that, I apologize, because this is a bogus star to try to get. There's just so much. There's just so many coins that are just so, like, randomly scattered in this level. So it's, it's a very hard one to get. Anyway, thanks so much for coming. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna hit this. Hit the treetops. And of course, fall off the treetops, as per usual with Super Mario Sunshine. You will always fall off. Wherever you're trying to go, you're just going to fall off. That's okay. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to jump up there, and we're going to hover our way to the top like that. And get our eighth coin. Every coin honestly counts in this one. Whatever, since I'm here, let's do this little, um... Okay, cool. I just don't want to do it too much. Ah! I want that coin. That that one coin is mine. 100% mine. Oh, yeah! There we go. Okay, 13. 13 up. There's, like, four more over here. I just gotta be very careful because there is going to be one coin over here that is a blue. Ah! I'm trying the input for the uh, spin jump and that's really hard to do. 
on such a small surface, it's just impossible. So let's just continue and uh, see what we can make of it. There we go. Do not get the one in the middle. If you do a triple jump like I did, you'd be able to get all these really simply. All right, there we have it. So that's uh, 17 coins on the outskirts. Now what we have to do is we have to jump on a lot of these little red cataquacks in order to get the rest of them. And uh, unfortunately, that's going to be a lot of work. And it's not a fast thing at all. So let's just do it. Here's one. Dude, what? You didn't touch me and I sprayed you. He's immune. This one's e evolving. Okay, there's two. Three. Four. I'm gonna get all the cataquacks and then we'll do all the watermelons. I think that'd be a little bit easier. But the monotony of doing the watermelons is just the worst. We're just gonna leave a wake of all of these little cataquacks just dazed and stunned right behind us. It's gonna look awesome. Yeah, we're not about to risk one coin despawning on us. Not at all. Okay. So I think that's everyone on the first floor. There's a couple coins underneath here, which I'll go grab really quick. One of these is going to be a red coin, so, or uh, a blue coin, so be very careful. Click in the control stick if you need to find out um, what's near you. That's the blue one. Yeah, no, we don't do that life. Not about that blue coin life right now. <laughs> All right, 38. 38 on the board. Okay, so now we get a couple each from the watermelons, which is uh, kind of <clears throat> kind of annoying. I guess I'll go outright and say it. It's just not really that fun. You have to do this like a hundred times. Forgive me for scratching my nose. It looks like allergies are coming back. Yikes. So you just have to run into it at the wall and then that's just one coin. That's two coins. So I guess we could have a little coin count crew. We could say, yo, let's go. Dude, I'm here. That's two hits, man. Chill out. Honestly, I didn't even, um, I'm not even counting. I should be. Wow. It's probably like about 10. Okay, yeah, that sounded like 10-ish. All right, so that being said, let's move on to this next area here and destroy these little guys. Yo, that guy just almost gave me a twofer. Well, he passed me to his buddy. Yo, I should not be messing around with these guys. They're actual, uh, they're actual enemies. And they do a lot of bad work to Mario. That's okay. We'll leave him. 
We'll leave them in a wake behind us. Yoink. Coin, thank you. That's cheap. I got ripped off. You saw it. You saw it happen with your own eyes. Do not hit a cataquack too close to an edge of a wall, or else that coin will be like, See ya! I'm out of here! And then they go away. Alright, so there's another little area that you can get a couple more coins. Um, and then that's our second watermelon stash. So, um, I don't think I need hover right now. So I can go get rocket. And by getting rocket, we can do this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's not bad. 65. Over here is also a spot where you can get some coins very carefully. Okay. 69. Let's go. Beautiful. You're 70. <sighs> Watermelons, man. Two. Three. I can't help but put a smile on my face to see how, like, monotonous this is. Four. Six. Seven. All right. I'm hoping eight, nine, ten. Because if that's the case, then we get 30, uh, 30 coins off of watermelons. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. Ten. Yeah, ten a pop. Alright, ten a pop. So there's going to be another watermelon nearby. Which is right over there. That's our big watermelon that we like. And we used in the previous uh, little episode. And there's also this spot right above that little hut that has a whole bunch of coins. But there's bees here, and I don't like the bees. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one coin there. That's fine. Whatever, let it. Let it go. Alright, let me go get a refill on water, and then we're gonna head up to the very tip top. I just need a total of four coins. And then we pop the rest of the watermelons. I just love launching Mario and then using like the little dive. His dive mechanic is so cool. So I could get this if I wanted to, but I don't. All right, so over here, there's going to be about two coins.
But since I'm here, I might as well try for the big coins, huh? Oh, come on! Ah, oh, it's annoying! Alright, get up. Get up, Mario. Okay, get up. I'm almost out of water. I cannot afford this anymore. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Now, I only have literally one shot at this. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's right there. What was that? That was absolute disgusting. Talk about having one shot at it, but that's, I have to do that. Like my eyes are legit bleeding right now because this game is like so hard. There we go. Okay, I need to test to see how high my jumps are. Because the last thing I want to get is that coin. And I have to do this all over again. I don't need this many. No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so, I got so lucky there. Alright, here we go. I think this may be it. If I'm off by a little bit... I think this is where I go, like, rocket nozzle or something. I think so. Uh-huh. Go! Oh my gosh! The most epic finish ever! Oh my goodness, I've never done that before. Yeah, buddy! Oh my, I'm so happy right now. And that was an even 100. Like, you you have no clue how perfect this was. Like, literally, you don't. You have no idea. But that was flawless. Oh my gosh. That was so cool! The final coins! Flipping through the air, getting every single one, landing on the even sweet 100. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the entire episode. Oh my gosh. It was very tough, very hard, and we made it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next up is going to be Pinna Park. We're going to do Pinna Park, and then uh, we'll do the first six episodes of Pinna. Uh, and then we have to go back to Rico and finish that up, because there's still a lot happening over here. So, guys... Whew. That was hard. Uh, dude, Gelato Beach is no joke, especially with collecting all those coins, man. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to look forward to the next one. It's going to be super fun. Yeah. It's absolutely going to be super fun. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mmm, man. Super Mario Sunshine, what'd you guys think? A very hard level. My hands are sweating. My hands are legit sweating right now. It's so hard. Anyway. Uh, make sure you guys are all subscribed help us reach a million and uh, let's go Let's go become a member if you guys want to like all these awesome people right over here, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care